The breeze is bad, but it's not all that bad. The no. throw in now. Pollard beaten by John Wynn. Hooked it back beautifully to give Dunstan the chance. The Norwood player giving it out now towards Woodcock. He was hipped out of the ball heav very heavily there. Off the ball by Weston. Was a good bump. Picked up by Dillon. There's another one with arthritis. There's nothing wrong with those legs, though, as he snapped it through on that occasion. At the halfway mark, or getting to the halfway mark of the first oh, turn. Anderson. Anderson again. What a leap this guy's got. Four players missing. They've had a lot of players out both sides during the year. Stephen Copping. That's a good mark to Stephen Copping. Ball bounced badly for Rosser. Copping comes into the front picture. Changes direction over the head of Rawson. Here's the chance for Craig. Can he get a second? They need it. Craig won't make the distance, of course. It falls short. Knocked down. Here's the chance now for Dylan. He's kicked one. He dropped the ball in. Play on is the decision. Highwood with good work. Over to Crozier. He's got to come onto that left foot. He can't, so he puts it over to Lahu. Lahu is can't play on. It's taken there by Highwood. It's smothered. Dunstan in trouble. The former Collingwood footballer has got the chance to get a score. Has he got it? If he has, it's only a minor one. It is. It's one behind. Yes. Nord lead by two goals, nice three as he kick. goes to the midfield position. Finds Gallagher, this very stylish player. Sets Seacamp up. Seacamp can pop the handball over. Draws his opponent first, copping in doing so. Gets it over to Glenn Rosser. And from half forward right, he's got a shot that there could be is. almost a magic goal. It is. As you're on, Dunstan's got it. Down the grandstand side he comes. Down towards the half-back flank. Up goes Big Johnson. And I like the look of this boy. Boy, it could have been killed. He wasn't. Daryl Rady over there. Get, got away. Good work there from Daryl Rady. Bit clever football. McFarlane, been pretty quiet to date and carrying injuries this year, I believe, as he goes to the full forward spot. Marked here by Hodgman Lahu. He's almost inclined to play on. Now he gets away from Teal, who looks slow in pursuing him. Goes towards centre half forward. Carey from the back. Oh, he's got strength. Look at him give out that handball to McEnany. He'll have a pot shot at the goal. Looks good off the boot. A great goal to play. No, he's now missed is the hand pass across there in fact he put it over yeah. towards Weston Weston tapping the ball along in front of him he went past Woodcock cleverly that was brilliant play there from the Paul Weston it's taken there by Teal taken off then by Big Reg Pollard Pollard drives and kicks the ball down towards Voigt good control there from Voigt he's got Hodgman down ground that's the way it goes Hodgman has a look kicks it over to Woodcock a great kick a good lead and a good passage of football it's it over his head well, these are treacherous balls to mark, and that's a good attempt. In yeah. fact, that's a really good mark taken Zubernick. there by Grant Zubernick. McInerney in towards the centre position. Twiggy Corwell, the Twigs controlled it well. Kicks it on to Hodgman. Hodgman tackle, got away. Drives it down. Phyllis there, he'll let it go. It's a goal. Dunstan puts it up in the air. Hodgman, a Hodgman mark. Right. Now, Rady, who last year in the, what, the preliminary final, kicked uh, three or five magnificent goals. And there's nice a good looking kick. attempt, and it's gone oh, straight through. Johnson puts it up in the air. Voigt's committed. Voigt's got it. Voigt's had a kick. Voigt's got a goal. That's the line. One goal. Oh, bang. Wade Phyllis oh, went straight in. Player, did he? Whack him. Or was it Freddie Phyllis? Oh. No, Freddie Phyllis, not Wade Phyllis. Oh. I don't know who it was, but that was a, that was a good thing. What happened, Walter? Well, Rexy Voigt got down, and then the end went... <laughs> Freddie Phyllis, it looked like to me, and down went a Norwood player and all. That looked bad. I don't know how that was. There's no free kick, of course, because the ball's got to be bounced, but uh, there could be a report in that lot. How did you see it in? Oh, the, no doubt about it. Rex Voigt went down. I must admit I didn't see the player that knocked him to the I ground, but I, but I certainly saw Freddie Phyllis jump over the top and deliver a very straight left. Woo. So to those that uh, suggest that Freddie Phyllis is not prepared to dish it out, think again. I'm tapped it on, gave it to Colwell. Colwell loves to run with the ball. Oh, he's a great hit. Oh, there's the goal of the day. By his own teammate, McFarlane. Taken there by Philip Gallagher. Play on. Over towards Dunson. Oh, 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 half inclined to agree with him too. Oh, well taken off the ball very fairly there by Seacamp. The handball flashed out towards Olsen. Olsen's got the ball on the halfback right flank. He's running into trouble. Tackled there by Osman. Gee, he's been quiet. There's the kick to the half forward line. Finds Dunstan. Dunstan gives the handball back to Seacamp. Seacamp dodging down into attack, trying to get a look at those goals. Succeeds in doing so. Pushes the ball up there and go. It goes for a six-pointer to take uh, Norwood within five points of the Bays at the five-minute mark of the third term. Anderson reads it well offhand. He'll try and draw an opponent I think and try and get the handball over to Phyllis. Polter's caught in two minds. He runs past him. The handball's on. Finds Hodgman. Hodgman kicks. A goal. Well done, the Bays. Half-back line. 
finds his teammate and bring it away as Jim LaHue towards centre wing. Greg couldn't quite get to it. McInerney, very cool, very collected as he goes through the midfield position. Tried to find Cole. Well, it bounced awkwardly for him. Wayne Phillips taps it back towards McInerney. The ball won't sit up for him. He chases it back now. So do the Norwood 3 0 with Guernsey dark in. The handball was immaculate. David Oisman back to Hodgman, but he was checked. Good interception there by Gallagher. Well done, Gallagher. Finds his. Other wingman on the far side, and this is Rosser. Rosser's kick directed to the half forward flank. Voigt comes to meet it. Right, Voigt. The ball back. It was well done, Voigt. Well done, Voigt. He's pursued by McFarlane, picked up by Gallagher. He saw the Guernsey, but it went over the head of Dylan, but it's found Wood. Good mark. Play on. Playing his 150th game. He snaps it up at the post today. Taken, and Jenkins has brought up his second goal. Well done, Jenkins. It was indeed Wally, but the kick down towards the centre wing from Pope. Michael Aney couldn't take it because Weston fisted it. Going in there is Dunstan. Out it went. Here's the chance now for Rosser. Finneman was that gave it to Rosser. Rosser having a look at the goals. I think he's put it through. Yes. He has. Greg, back towards the square. Dillon. Dillon, a great mark, Ross Dillon. Yonke, that's a fingertip mark. It was nearly through. I gave him away, but he hung on to that. Came down with a thump, didn't make any difference. A typical Dylan Mark. We've seen two of them in this quarter. He's really put in. Now, can he screw this one back using the breeze? Yes, if he can, it'll be a game and a half. Played on by running to the side. That's an interesting yes, situation. Chase in the, mark. the goal has been paid. But that's a very interesting situation that the siren had already gone, and yet he was able to play onto the side. Now, Robin Bennett is indicating that he's heard the siren. Whether he didn't hear the siren prior to that because he was chipped by Rawson of the Bays and I feel that the Bays are quite right in asking the question of Bennett how Dylan was able to play on after the siren had gone for three quarter time and we'll be discussing this one tomorrow in our Channel 9 football show at noon Kane. Olsen drives it straight out towards centre half for Jenkins in front of the Who and he's been awarded the mark and so he should have because he took it it's kicked down ground taken across here again by Michael Laney Michael Laney over to Ross Dylan he's kicked six goals one he used uses his arthritic ankle and he buries it through and that's seven one to Ross Dillon. Wanted to bring it back for the red leg side. Goes towards centre half back. Greg in the front oh, spot. Well, Great well, mark. Well. 